Now, today we will discuss about uh, Sun Maharadash. The Sun. Sun means, Sun is the planet which represents kingship. Okay. In this Sun Maharadasha, the person strive for the top position, authority, okay, commanding nature. The person want to prove himself. The person want to, person will try to prove himself. Okay, the defending the boundaries. These are the my boundaries. This is my kingdom. The person will defend for that boundaries. Okay. Person will show the confidence levels. The person will show the confidence levels. This dasha entirely is proving the person, the inner self. This is me defending the boundaries, showing their ego, pride, royalty, richness. So this, this dasha in your chart, wherever sun is located, wherever sun is located, from the sun, from the planet sun, check other planets. Okay. Check other planets. So now, sun Maharadasha was started. Keep your lagna wherever sun is sitting. Okay. Think that wherever sun is sitting, that is your lagna. Okay. From there, see the chart. Whatever the events, okay, those things will occur from that point of view. The person focus always in the house where sun is situated. So that house is become a major part in the Sun Maharadasha. Okay. So we need to, whatever Maharadasha was running, we need to see keeping Lagna in the wherever sun is sitting. Okay. So from the sun, if you see the planets, whatever the planets are situated, okay, favorable position, that means not 6, 8, 12, Dustanas. Okay. So the, the planets which are sitting in 6, 8, 12 from the sun, those antar dashas may trouble you. Okay. Remaining houses, remaining houses will be a, not a very much harder, smooth sailing. So what are the planets sitting from the sun in 6, 8, 12? Those planets uh, will trouble you. Those planets will trouble you. <clears throat> so here, the sun, wherever the sun was sitting, sun will try to prove himself. He want to gain authority, top position. He will show the richness, royalty, ego. Okay. Now we will discuss the houses. If sun is sitting in first house, if sun is sitting in a first house, the person will try to prove himself in the character, identity, personality with the domination, authority. He will show his authority. He will command. So the person, character, identity, personality, is the essential factor. Major events will revolve around this personality, character and identity only. The planets from the sun, if you see from the sun, okay, so those planets will play their role according to sun placement. If uh, any planet sitting in a uh, 6th, 8th, 12th axis, that Antar Dasha, you need to pinpoint, okay, so, sir, be careful in this Antardashas. You need to say. If sun is in second house, if sun is in a second house, the major events will revolve around the values, ethics, and money matter, financial matters. Second house is all about Dhanasthana. 
when sun is in second house this mahardasha this entire mahardasha will revolve around the values ethics and money matters values ethics and money matter financial things okay so the person who want to will try to prove himself in these areas he want to gain financially he want to wealth wise he want to gain something okay you want to prove his values values means uh, the person value will be calculated based on the assets he possess okay so my value is i have 3 bhk i have 3 acres land i have fixed deposits i have a luxury car this is value okay? the person will strive hard to prove himself in this area he will show authority domination he will show you go in these areas if sun is sitting in third house if sun is sitting in third house so this entire mahardasha sun mahardasha will revolve around the skills talents hobbies his own caliber he want to showcase his own caliber it's all related about communication and showcasing intelligence so in these areas the person who will try to prove himself with his communication with his skill set he will try to prove himself he want to gain authority with his skills talents with parakrama by showing parakrama he want to prove himself by gaining authority top position with through his skills talents the majority events will revolve around focusing these areas only third house now keep your lagna in this position in third house and see the planets from the sun whatever the planets sitting from the sun okay you need to tell whether they are beneficial or not beneficial the troublesome areas are 6 8 12 <laughs> if there is no planets in 6 8 12 that is good dasha one okay if sun is sitting in fourth house the majority events revolve around uh, properties real estate house mother comfortable zone the person will strive hard uh, to prove himself uh, by making up a, a comfortable zone that means building a house real estate properties vehicles and uh, the majority of events revolve around mother his home the person want to show domination in home person want respect authority in home in front of his mother he want to showcase his ego this is me okay so these type of events will occur in this person's life if sun is sitting in fifth house fifth house is all about creativity fifth house is all about creativity children is also our creativity only our own creativity so this is santana sthana love romance fun entertainment okay creativity style own style it all comes in the fifth house if sun is sitting here in this mahardasha the person want will thrive hard to showcase his creativity and one thing want to remember wherever sun is sitting okay he will burn the house with his ego so major thing will revolve around i the word i respect the the person will defend okay so he want to prove himself uh, by doing the uh, the works related to his children love matters fun and entertainment matters the mahardasha will revolve around this authority top position to gain authority top position okay if uh, this person is having children he will strive hard to make his children to get first rank <laughs> he will show the creativity 
in every work he will show the creativity he want to attract with his style he always love fun and entertainment fun and entertainment the person will show the domination authority want to prove himself in these areas okay so when sun is in sixth house so put your lagna in sixth house the major events will occur from the sixth house only the major events will occur from the sixth house only the sixth house will become important in this sun mahar dasha so in this dasha the person the sixth house is all related to daily routines shatru runa roga okay. if our daily routines are proper we don't want to depend uh, we don't want to uh, fight with our shatru we don't we will not get a roga we will not do any runas get debts diseases enemies if our daily routine is proper we, we will not get anything if our daily routine is somewhat disturbed then we will get a shatru runa roga enemies and debts and disease here sun is there okay. sun want to prove himself this is the very perfect person perfect position for sun sun will na give high immunity in sixth house he will uh, defend enemies his daily routines uh, will always will be in a richness royalty it will attain richness and royalty he will eat a rich food in his daily routines uh, he will do works in a with high royalty ego the person will show domination authority in his daily routine he will strive hard for this okay. the major events will occur in this mahar dasha it's all related to sixth house from the sixth house if you see any planets uh, the position of a planets from the sun if you count uh, from the sun okay the planets which are sitting in 6 8 12 may bring obstacles okay the entire mahar dasha will focus on proving himself want to show the domination ego okay the major events will occur in these areas if sun is in 7th house entire mahar dasha will focus on relationships business business and relationships so the entire mahar dasha will span around relationships okay this is a not a correct person okay to deal with the seventh house so he want to prove himself he want to show his ego authority top position if it is in a business side if the person was doing business then is a no problem okay so there is no disturbance in the marriage life so if he is not a, doing a business he is an employee okay then the problems will arise the person want to showcase domination okay so if i come to house the person want to respect me he want to stand up okay whatever the words i utter he want to clap she want to clap so so these things will arise okay the person always uh, will try to trend uh, with the word i instead of we in relationships what we need to use we but the person will use i okay. here the person focuses on only i this is very testing period if sun is sitting in seventh house the person if he is not not doing business is a normal employee then uh, then lot of uh, problem feel occur okay the <clears throat> things when sun is in seventh house okay you want to change the lagna and keep the lagna in the seventh house okay the planets whatever the sitting from the seventh house will explain you the story okay so if the planet sitting in a 6 8 12 if the planet sitting in a 6 8 12 from the 
sun position okay those planets uh, will give you a lot of sufferings will give you a lot of sufferings okay. other houses also will give sufferings but uh, we need to careful we need to pinpoint uh, 6 8 to 12 houses okay so if sun mahar dasha was occurred and sun is sitting in seventh house okay, the person need to take care his personal relationships okay if he is a married person this dasha is a very difficult dasha okay the person if uh, if you see a chart uh, sun in seventh house okay you need to give a suggestion to do a small business so that uh, the person may the person may <clears throat> if the person is doing business okay the person will learn how to compromise he will learn how to compromise with others if he is not doing any business then this is a problematic thing this is a problematic thing even worse thing okay the person don't know how to compromise and the san mahardasha want to prove himself will try to defend the boundaries will showcase the authorities hence uh, these things uh, this dasha will bring a uh, inauspicious events okay. the couple may go to divorce okay. this mahardasha I'm, again i am telling it is worst if the person is in married is married and uh, an employee for an employee and a married person this seventh house sun mahardasha is a terrible thing okay. <clears throat> when sun sitting in eighth house eighth house is all about a sudden events in life okay. this is the best thing for king so king uh, want a sudden events troublesome events to, to showcase his authority top position commanding nature okay so the person the real beauty will comes when sun is in eighth house and the mahardasha will bring the sudden events uh, the person will defend uh, those sudden events in life okay this is the tough fight because eighth house and versus ego okay so eighth house will tell to take someone help but sun will not take the help okay so eighth house is all about darkness we need a torchlight we need some other help but sun will not take any other help because he is the king he will defend that sudden events he will showcase the ego he will try to conquer those sudden events he will try to get defend the boundaries in the eighth house <clears throat> the best suggestion we can give you the sun is in eighth house the person want to learn astrology mm -hmm. so gupta marma shastras all are originated in eighth house only if the person learns eighth house that sun will defend will not take anyone help he will try to okay he will try to conquer those sudden events in life he want to showcase his kingship he want to show showcase his royalty richness by conquering this sudden events he want to gain authority top position okay. so this is the best position for sun but if he this person learns astrology that is even very good excellent position for sun now when sun sitting in ninth house ninth house is all about learning higher knowledge learning higher knowledge whatever be the rashi wherever sun is sitting that knowledge you want to learn suppose it is libra you want to learn higher knowledge in relationships suppose it is in cancer you want to learn higher knowledge in love and emotions suppose it is aquarius you want to learn higher knowledge in terms of humanitarian okay. so ninth house is all about higher knowledge where you will get higher knowledge from the gurus who are in a, who are greater than in your age experience uh, those persons the experienced persons will have knowledge so gaining that knowledge by keeping your intelligence aside 
gaining that higher knowledge will uh, comes in the ninth house. In this ninth house, okay, you will meet gurus to get higher knowledge. You will read books. You will follow your religion. You, you will pray for God. When sun is sitting in ninth house, generally this person will not go to any gurus. Okay? He will treat uh, his father as a guru. Major, majorly, father-like figures, he will treat like a gurus. Okay? He will listen to his fathers, father kind of a persons. Okay? So, he will, he want to gain higher knowledge from them. And uh, maybe father may be very strict person. If son is, because the person will see his father as guru. Here, son is sitting in ninth house. Okay. You keep your lagna there and see the chart from the ninth house. Because major events were occurring in the ninth house only. Okay. The spotlight events will occur related to ninth house only. You will travel a lot, a long distance travel. You will meet uh, many people. You will see the holy places. You will gain higher knowledge. So these things will occur. When sun is sitting here, sun wants to showcase uh, his ego. Okay. It may be troublesome with gurus. He want to achieve the higher knowledge and he want to gain authority, top position. So these things will become a major task in the Mahardasha. So in this Mahardasha, the person want to gain higher knowledge, want to challenge the gurus. Okay. He will respect his father. He will try to defend and try to want to be a king, a knowledgeable king. By gaining higher knowledge, you want to become a king. Okay. So, a person will strive around these areas. If sun is in 10th house, if sun is in 10th house, 10th house is all about name and fame and very good position for sun. If sun is in 10th house, sun is represents king and 10th house represents kingdom. By gaining name and fame only, this person wants to prove himself. Person want to prove himself by gaining name and fame. The so major events will revolve around the 10th house in this Sun Mahardasha. The Sun Mahardasha, the entire seven years, we need to keep a lagna there and see the chart. Because this is the major focus. This Mahardasha, the 10th house will become a major focus in these years. Seven years of Mahardasha. The person want to gain name and fame. Then only he will think uh, he is a king. Up to that, he will not think as a king. Okay. By gaining name and fame. So the person may focus on his career, business, whatever the things he wants to gain name and fame professionally. The person wants to prove himself in these areas. He will defend the boundaries. Okay. Maybe ego clashes with his bosses, managers, upper people okay, in his uh, career. But uh, this is a very good dasha. The person want to want to reach higher heights. Okay. It's based on the Rashi also. Okay. When Rashi was supporting for the sun, whatever the Rashis, whatever the Rashi lords are supporting the sun, then this is a this will turn as a very good dasha. If sun is in eleventh house, the person want to get a name, the person want to get a celebrity status. He want to get respect in a friend circle, social circles. Okay, so it's like a Facebook, uh, Twitter, WhatsApp. YouTube, all will come in the 11th house only. He want to become a social media king. Friends, uh, with his friends, uh, the major focus is on friends. Uh, need to get celebrated status. All people want to talk about him. He will do the works uh, 
related to that only and he will give he will come into the now social media exists okay so whatever the things he will take the photos and will keep uh, and circulate in his friends uh, to get respect from the friends respect authority he want to gain around uh, the friend circle and social circles he want to prove himself in friend circles and it has also profits and gains also this person may do business and need to get a profits and gains but sun will not not a good planet for doing business because uh, in business there is a compromising thing is will happen sun is against to that compromising <laughs> so it is very difficult so he will he will always do the things which are related to friend circle and social circles uh, and want to gain authority and top position okay maybe ngo services he will do humanitarian works okay so these things will revolve around uh, from if sun is sitting in 11th house uh, the person want to gain authority top position because 11th house is all about uh, gains sun is all about power authority top position so the person will strive hard uh, to get uh, all these things. when sun is sitting in 12th house when sun is uh, sitting in the 12th house 12th house is all about uh, dana samaya veya 12th house is all about dana samaya veya sun is the power authority top position so in these things uh, sun is all about power authority and top position 12th house is all about dana samaya veya this person will spend uh, so much of time and money in order to gain power authority okay it is all about time waste and money waste so here in 12th house okay when sun is in 12th house he want to become a spiritual king he want to become a spiritual king if uh, this person if he understand about spirituality meditation okay meditation yoga so these kind of things uh, this dasha will be very good if he don't know all these things okay then this person will always remain in focusing uh, power authority top position but the result is time and money waste only okay so parasara he is uh, he said that uh, marana karaka sthana it is a death for the sun in 12th house okay. it is the death of the sun in the 12th house so this uh, entire mahardasha the sun mahardasha so based on the rashis the nakshatras wherever the sun is sitting it is becoming a primary focus it will become a primary focus spotlight so when you keep the lagna there okay, ignore the lagna whatever you are so when sun mahardasha was running you need to keep lagna there the sun nakshatra wherever the sun rashi those are also will play a very important role because the planet is the catalyst this catalyst will use the raw material of rashi rashi is the the material raw material okay it is a catalyst the planet is the catalyst okay the result is bhava the result is bhava so hence uh, so these things are very important uh, when you are seeing sun mahardasha a strong sun okay, you will uh, will try it hard to get that prestige name okay with your own efforts if you are facing health issues in sun mahardasha those things will be cleared you will overcome all the challenges you will get uh, support from the elders the seniors uh, government uh. so sun will be blessed with a sharp intelligence uh, ability to work uh, with new and innovative ideas because sun is also very intelligent parashara said that the most intelligent planet is sun okay so in this sun mahardasha these things will occur yes sir you can ask your doubts now whatever the doubts you please place yes sir anand 
Uh, so initially you said uh, um, we have to see the position of them from. Uh, uh, please speak like loudly, sir. I'm not able to hear you. Okay. Okay, uh, so the first thing is that how do I know that uh, we are in San Maharashtra? That's first thing. Uh, second thing is that uh, you also mentioned that uh, we have to see the position of the sun uh, from Lagnam. Uh, that part I did not understand. So first thing is that uh, okay, uh, what do we see we in the in the in the chart? Uh, how do I know that it is uh, uh, San Maharashtra? Whatever the software you are using, that mm -hmm. software will give you whatever the dashas, whatever the running. Okay, if you mm -hmm. know the calculations, okay? you are a traditional astrologer. If you know the traditions, okay, based on the calculations. Okay, mm -hmm. now nobody was depending on the self calculations or not following any traditional ways because software is giving accuracy, accurately. Okay, accurately they are calculating, and any software you can see dasha system. Mm -hmm. So, in that uh, year-wise periods are there. Okay, you can follow those things. And uh, what is the next question, sir? Uh, you mentioned about uh, the position of uh, Lagna. Yeah, Mahardasha, I think uh, you missed the introduction. Mahardasha means, Maha means greater. Dasha means uh, the event, which are triggering the events. So, it is a greater time period. Okay. If Sun Mahardasha was running, Wherever sun is sitting, that will become a primer, primary focal point, the spotlight. Okay. So, wherever sun was sitting, that bhava, that rashi, that sun nakshatra will become your primary focal point. Okay. So, you, whatever be the lakna, so the, this seven years period will always focus on that bhava, wherever sun is sitting, that rashi, that nakshatra. So that's what I, I told. It need to you need to see that sun position as a lagna. Okay. Ignore your lagna. So keep your lagna here because the primary events will trigger here. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, sir. It's... Yes, Vijay Sir, the man. Sir, Miru. Lagnani Kendranga just commented, but Surin Lagnanga just comment Naru. Adi debilitated in a Purgoda, Vedelsus, any houses the same on the Sar, Lakapotla. Madam, debilitation means uh, several times I said to you, debilitation means not losing the power. The power is in wrong direction. Okay. Sun will debilitate in Libra. This ego authority, top position will fight in the relationships. That is not good for us. Sun will not lose power. He will show the domination, authority, top position. He will try to get that respect for in relationships. Mm -hmm. But uh, this power you need to use in the career, not in the relationships. Okay. If it is debilitated also, these things will occur. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I said uh, it is a Marana Karakasthana. Okay. For son, it is a Marana Karakasthana. So the person will strive for authority, top position, and uh, he, wa he want the result is wasting time and money in the 12th house. Okay. So that's why it is a Marana Karakasthana. Okay. If it is debilitated, he will uh, he want to seek uh, the top position authority okay, in relationships. In that, he will waste time and money. Okay. Okay. Any other doubts? Oh, one one question, sir. Um, one by one, one by one. If any but no but no one is having any doubts, I will answer you. Uh, yeah, much better. One second. One sir. second. Sir, uh, uh, fine, sir. Only okay, okay. Then I don't know. A strong son, son will try to get the name and frame on his own and ability to work with, with new ideas. All medical issues will go away, all this is fine, fantastic. But the strong sun and the atlas is for the sun balloon, available with the balloon paper, the abalon is put a No, sir. I, I, I already said that uh, sun, uh, the sun placement, okay. Sun is in sixth house, eighth house. Okay. It is very good. If sun is sitting in a sixth house and eighth house, three yeah. and eleven also very good. Okay. Three and eleven also very good. So in three, 
he want to learn the skills and he want to prove himself okay. so with his skills he want to attain the kingship this is also very good and in sikhs the he want to defend his enemies okay. diseases mm. okay and debts and he want to prove himself as a king this is also very good in eighth house uh, he want to face sudden events this is also very good okay so remaining all i am not saying it is bad okay but sun, uh, sun uh, in these areas will excel very most especially in it okay so that means strong sun means it's not about the strength of the sun as per uh, uh, digbala so, and all sun power will not vary sir sun want sun what is the sun power authority top position in this dasha he will strive very hard with the power authority where he was he was focusing that is the main criteria so if it is in seventh house that is waste of time okay yeah. in a relationship he will he want a respect he want to try for a top position authority that is very not very good okay. so that's why i said in the first row 6 8 okay mm. sun is in a 6 8 even though he is debilitated or in not in a good condition also if it is a 6 8 it is very good 3 11 also in second row it is very good 3 11 also okay yeah. so remaining mm. things 7th is worst and 12th is uh, another worst 10 yeah. sir 10 is very good sir excellent position so okay. I, I first preference we will give for 6 8 3 11 10 uh, 3 10 11 in second row these are good <clears throat> because Upachaya houses and Dustana houses, except 12. So these are very good. It is worst uh, if it is sun is in seventh house. And 12th house also. Thank you. Vijay Shanti, madam. I already said uh, Sun Antar Dasha will give you clues only. The events in a microscopic view. So in Mahardasha, it is a major. Okay. The entire seven years will focus on that area only. So it will come. It will come. Yes, madam. Six years. Sorry. So these Mahardasha years are primary focal point. Okay. If it is a Sun is sitting in uh, whatever the said houses. He will want to showcase his power, authority, and gain the uh, that kingship. So he will defend the boundaries. So this is the main event. So wherever the bhava he is sitting, whatever the bhava he is sitting, there he will fight for that gaining that power only. Okay. Har Prasad. Har Prasad. Sir. Any Mahardasa, uh, whether uh, the Dasanada is uh, 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 malefic or benefic, uh, we have to say or not from Lagna, for judging the Dasa system. Sir, it's a, it's a it's not like that. Okay, whatever the bhava, wherever he is sitting, okay? whatever the bhava is sitting, if it is twelfth. For any lagna, it is worst only. If it is seventh, for any lagna, it is worst only. So we need to consider these things. Okay. It is not uh, based on uh, per lagna, sun is not good. Suppose Mina Lagna is there. The sixth house is no, sir, that is what that is also Kanya Kanya Lagna is there. He is he is uh, now presently Sun Mahadasa is going. But uh, the twelfth place is there. Yeah, if it is, is there, he is sitting in eighth house. Suppose he is sitting in eighth house. So whatever the result I said, it will apply. Okay. If he is sitting in seventh house, that is the worst. Okay. Whatever the placement is having, so he he will bring that uh, those things into that bhava. But if sun is sitting in six and eight. Suppose Kanya Lagna, 12th Lord sitting in 6th house, it, it, uh, it will give a Pradhraj Vaila. 
12th house lord sitting in 8th house it will bring you determine what about the things i said in this mahardasha san mahardasha you determine with the for, for all the lagnas so final conclusion will come to this only okay. okay. anantaka sir uh, you said uh, in san mahardasha wherever sun is sitting in rashi chakra in San Mahardasha, wherever sun is sitting in the Rashi Chakram, so uh, that uh, that uh, uh, house will get the full focus. Is that correct? Yes, sir. So that is as per the Rashi Chakram, right? Lagna Chakras. A Lagna Chakram. That's, that okay. will be a primary focal point. San Dasha is occurring. Okay. Basically, it's a butt shot wherever he is sitting. Yes, yes. Thank you.